Welcome everyone. So now we are actually going to talk more about Agile. I would definitely attach this one to the notes so that you guys can read it more thoroughly. Traditional project management. As I have said, it's traditional. It's more like waterfall. So define target, take aim, launch, and hope that the customer gonna like it. But in these days, we don't go with that approach. Our approach should be reason, start in both direction, learn, adapt to changes, hope in on target incrementally because we don't wanna waste our money. We don't wanna waste our time. That's the reason we use the Agile. Few more things you need to know about agile it is very flexible you have to be flexible in nature if you are into the agile how come how we need to be flexible so a project manager he definitely looks for a whole team of designer developer first we're gonna design obviously before design we will do planning we will do the planning then we will do the design as a project manager and then we will deal with the development team and we will deal with the testing team and then releasing team who's going to release it and how the things are suppose we do have a contract with apple for apple 12 three pages because we have 12 12 pro and 12 pro max just for example we do have two pages for the apple watch and we do have one page for the apple tablet so are we gonna deliver all this on same time no we know that these we would need to deliver before august because in september it's their release for the watch suppose the watch would be released somewhere in december so by november we would have to deliver it and suppose a tablet which is just one page and tablet has to be released somewhere uh in march so maybe by feb we will deliver it so what is this this is called a planning so we're gonna distribute these in release planning how we say it it's agile release planning i'm gonna write the word it is agile release okay release planning what this is is so if you are a project manager you are supposed to be more familiar with this term agile release planning so what we exactly do in agile release planning a project manager gonna do the plannings and he's gonna say you know what we are on march right now let's do the first agile release planning which will be on first of august we are delivering on first of august of, 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 of august our first release which is agile release what we are doing we are delivering three pages which are of iphone 12. then we will do the the next planning will come it will be our second release of the same product of the same project of apple because apple gave you so many uh, pages to do it and agile is all about doing the big thing into smaller parts so we are doing iphone release separately we are doing tablet release separately we will do mac book release separately and we will do the tablet release or other things uh, like watch things separately the reason we are doing separately because agile is all about putting the whole work into the smaller parts it's all about agile because it's more easy to manage it's more easy to launch and it's more easy to manageable and it's more effective that you don't have to go back on your time and change it out it's more about you get the customer reaction more faster uh, you get the success and the profits more faster with it so on the second release we know that the watch is going to be released in december so we could after august we will start working on the watch and before november we will be done right 
if in November it's getting launched, we will try our best to get it done by October. Maybe first October we should be done with the second release, which are of watch, Apple Watch. And the third will come. This is what we call agile planning, agile release planning that we are releasing something. And now I will tell you when we are planning a release, we are, suppose we are doing the first release, we do have to plan so many small things. We have to plan sprints in it. A project manager is supposed to know about the prints. It's, it's going to be very important and this can, this will definitely appear in your interviews for sure. The reason because they are looking for people with some experience and they are looking for people who wants who know about the industry. You're not going to know about these things anywhere else the way I'm explaining to you. These are the industry secrets. So when you're doing a release planning, you are doing a sprint also. What is the sprint? How are you going to understand it? Well, in sprint, if in short, I would say, I want you to, I will go on, on these things for sure. In a sprint, okay, this is a roadmap. A six steps of which are we're doing planning as i've said we're creating a roadmap of action it means we're doing designing and development we are planning a release which i have just explained we're doing sprint planning it means oh uh, i don't know if i can okay so what the sprint planning is so as you know we're gonna deliver the pages of um, this iPhone 12, we're going to do the sprint planning from March 1st to April, for, uh, not April, it's August 1st, we're going to have few months and few months we're going to divide by like suppose 15 days. One sprint is will be of the 15 days, which is usually two weeks in every single company. You're not going to find a sprint of one week anywhere in today's world. You're always going to find a sprint of two weeks, which is for usually 14 days so it's two weeks always a one sprint and then obviously the saturday sunday doesn't count in that um, but it's two week sprint straightforward and that's gonna be your sprint in sprint you do all the planning that what are you gonna do how are you gonna deal with the planning how are you gonna deal with the designer who's designing the pages how are you gonna deal with the developer once planning is done go back to the customer and the customer gonna fix you up um if he didn't like the planning or if he wants to add few things and then you're going to do the designing you're going to go back to the customer and you're going to ask them well did you like our designing the choice of colors of these things according to the planning we came up with this design and if the customer is happy that's great if the customer is not happy which is like our stakeholders if they are not happy we can make a few changes according to what they want and then we can go back and do the uh, design stuff right away fix so that our development can be according to the design because if you're gonna make all the product and we're not done with the uh, we make all the product and we're not done with the proper planning uh, agile is all about flexibility suppose uh, they wanted to have the red color and you know that you're making things on red color but agile is all about flexibility suppose you are done with the designing and you go back to the customer and customer would say you know what red is not exactly looking good you know what i will go with the light red color so not the red not the pink i want someone in between because in planning it sounds okay to me but when i see the actual designs i'm not really okay okay so we are flexible we're gonna change it Again, with the development, if something we we have made and he didn't like the functionality, remember the functionality I have showed to you that on click, um, like see how these things are. Maybe the customer come back and he says, oh, I just released iPhone 12. I don't want the screen here. I want it according to uh, the ears. I don't want it according to the size. So see the consistency is 4.7 is looking bigger and the 5.4 is looking smaller maybe he is not like good with the sizes option 12 and he's like you know what i want to change something or 
there can be many things like uh, after development he can say oh uh why on hover a line is coming i don't want a line to come can you change it uh, i mean planning and designing it looked good to me but right now i'm not comfortable so yeah we have we are working in an agile environment we can fix the things and we can we are pretty flexible this kind of environment every single company is looking and adapting because more uh, cost effective um dealing with customers are more easy and involving customers and the stakeholders is a main point in project management because we are creating project for them not for us right okay so and the sprint review so once we do the sprint planning who's gonna do what how we're gonna uh, go to those stakeholders which particular day or like every monday we want to go to stakeholder to present what we have done we will have a daily meeting as a project manager with our team like designer developer testers to know what they are doing on day-to-day -day action once we are done with the sprint we will have a meeting with a, a stakeholder we will tell them what we have done what better we could do where the delays were these kind of things we can discuss and we will present the um, product to them and it will be sprint retro retrospective it means whatever we have done in a sprint what we can do much better and how we will we will take care of our next sprint we do have few frameworks i want you to look into this so one is scrum framework helps in dealing with complex problems making it possible to deliver high quality products at the same time this is a scrum one 80 to 90 percent we use this framework in today's era the second very famous um framework is the kanban is used to implement agile what is the framework actually okay let me explain you the framework so very quickly i'm gonna take this out i definitely want you to go back and read those kanban agile and hybrid hybrid is basically nothing it's more than it's more a combination of agile methods like it's a combination of scrum and kanban but in today's era we use more scrum and less kanban but kanban is pretty um flexible too scrum is more like it it helps in managing complex advanced work with a little emphasis on the software development and software industry it industry mostly use scrum but they use kanban too which requires more real-time communication work items are presented so what's the difference between the scrum and kanban okay the scrum there is you can say we one of the software which we use as a project manager so remember in many things i have explained that okay this is a designer story this is a developer story and this is a tester story or this is planning story just these kind of things and then we give points to them and name of the person who's gonna do the designing and name of the person who's gonna do the development name of the person who's gonna do the testing these names will be there and this person suppose mr a is a point for the designing he's gonna go and change the what do you call um he's gonna change the status so uh if it's on beginning mode he will change in progress and then when he's done he's gonna say done submit to developers plus project manager for review so he's going to change the status of the things and this can be seen by all others but this is not on real life environment this is more for like html work normal project managers work maybe he's done with the work at 10 a.m and he's updating all these things at 5 p.m so which is fine right because it's not real time but in kanban what happened we have the things not as like developers uh designers or testers let me explain it's more like real time like the real time is more like uh if the shopping cart is not working well for apple company shopping cart is very important because if that feature is not working 
how people are gonna come, especially in COVID time, how they're gonna come and do all the stuff, uh, do the shopping. So the person will post, okay, card is not working. Um, this person, suppose Mr. P, a point on that, he's working on this. And the next person who's gonna be this, gonna work on this. And then we're gonna do the sprint planning. It's more of like, I would say, real time environment rather than just offline environment, but everyone can see the status of it what else mm, many companies i would say like ibm cisco at&t microsoft philips actually i would say every single company 98 percent of the companies are using the agile framework because this is very effective if you want to know the principle the reason why we use it because of high customer satisfaction high quality products and there will be no complaints at the end and this is exactly what we want reduce risk there is no risk that you're going to go back to the planning again and do everything again no it is something reduce risk and you get a better return on investments and your customers are more happy and you do more productive work there are some principles like customer is satisfied because of the fast and continuous delivery shortening the time period between the planning and delivery increase the effectiveness of the work the management and developers work together for better understanding and the productive work accepting stakeholder changes even late in the development phase while even though you are late by mistake although you should not be um and accept customer changes which work rather than going back and do the all the work again right because more it is more costly if you do waterfall if you do agile it's very cost effective better coordination with team members in agile communication is very important because if one team member is doing something and is not telling the communication and he's not communicating with another team member telling that what he's doing it can delay the work I and mean, no one wants to delay the work monitor of project for progress it's very easy when you're doing a job because you can see everything on the board what the person is doing when the story is getting ended and deliver press and support the team to complete project objectiveness the most efficient and effective method of conveying information well and within development of team is face-to-face -face communication but because of covid it is not so that's the reason we do have a video calls incorporated right now to do the better communication we can do video calls we can do the phone calls we can do screen sharing these kind of things the requirements are understood and the simple solution simplest solution to meet those requirements is taken scrum tools are used to clean up the confusing mode which saves the time as i've said board has been used so that it saves everyone's time and for this summer a child chapter has been done and if you do have any questions please shoot up your messages to me thank you